Good evening. It's Facebook love number 152. I haven't counted the weeks lately. I know we're past six months of staying at home and now that it gets dark in the evening earlier, I'm finding it um, wearisome. And I, uh, I turned on the TV while I was eating this morning and um, on one of the most lighthearted talk shows that uh, morning television has, they were um, interviewing a psychiatrist who helps people deal with um, low feelings, depression, anxiety, and uh, specifically lately pandemic weariness. And I thought it was very interesting that this very lighthearted, happy uh, sort of chat show was discussing that. Um, I have a lot of methods for keeping my spirits up, but um, boy, it's wearing on me. And this, uh, the election season makes it tougher. So anyway, I, uh, I found a couple poems that sort of address those um, complicated, unresolved feelings. And I encourage you, if you struggle with them too, to um, do things like sing, dance, jump around like a wild thing and make yourself laugh, um, watch something lighthearted. We've, uh, we've been watching the, the Great British Baking Show uh, it's it's absolutely refreshing and I feel like I'm eating all those delicious things just from looking at them so no weight gain uh, so I have a few poems for you today and neither of these are by a woman unusual for me the first is called listen by Miller Williams I threw a snowball across the backyard. My dog ran after it to bring it back. It broke as it fell, scattering snow after snow. She stood confused, seeing and smelling nothing. She searched in widening circles until I called her. She looked at me and said as clearly in silence as if she had spoken. I know it's here. I'll find it. Went back to the center and started the circles again. I called her two more times before she came slowly, stopping once to look back. That was this morning. I'm sure that she's forgotten. I've had some trouble putting it out of my mind. Listen by Miller Williams. This second one is by Mark Jarman. It's called Unholy Sonnets. Make sure it doesn't keep going. Oops. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, Gracious Lord, Mother Love and Maker, Light Divine, Atomic Fingertip, Cosmic Design, First letter of the alphabet, last word. Mutual satisfaction, cash award. Auditor who approves our bottom line. Examiner who says that we are fine. Oasis that all sands are running toward. I can say almost anything about you, oh big idea, and with each epithet, create new reasons to believe or doubt you. Create new reasons to believe or doubt you. Black hole, white hole, presidential jet. But what's the anything I must leave out? You solve nothing but the problems that I set. Unholy Sonnets by Mark German. I was preoccupied with something today, and I'm I'm uh, 
I'm sort of tiptoeing around it because I don't quite know what it means yet. Um, I'm finding myself craving head pats. Uh, I want to be... I want to be reassured that I'm doing it right, which um, is something that I felt a lot in the first years when I was finished with college. I'd spent so many years getting grades and, and comments and atta-girls and um, constructive criticism, uh, and adulthood has none of that. Um, but something about being stuck at home a lot is making me crave... I don't even want to call it praise, but yeah, head pats. I think that uh, it's maybe a, a, a piece of loneliness. I'm not really lonely because I have people to talk to, but anyway, it's something I've been thinking about. So this is Facebook Love, number 152, six plus months into the pandemic. Stay well. See you again.